What's going on, guys? It's Steve. Now, if you guys have been subscribed to this channel for a while, you know in the beginning of the season, I came out and I said, Kawhi Leonard is not an NBA superstar. You know, I came out and I said, he's not that good. He's overrated. You know, anyone could put up decent numbers like that. Listen, I was completely wrong about Kawhi Leonard. The season is pretty much halfway through. You know, we're almost close to all-star break. And Kawhi Leonard ceases to never amaze me. This this guy is always amazing me, what he does. Last night against LeBron, he made some extremely superstar caliber plays that only you see superstars make. That jump ball with LeBron, that dunk at the end, you know, that at three. And, and no matter what the, those defensive stops, whatever the hell he's doing, he's amazing me. This guy is an NBA superstar. He dropped 41 points on LeBron James. 41 points on LeBron. Incredible. Now, before I continue this video, I would just like to say, all you haters out there that said Melo's out of his prime, whatever, have you seen him lately? Go look at his last few games. And then look at how many minutes he's playing. And when he plays more minutes, he plays better. I'm telling y'all right now. Enough with the 32 minutes. He needs to play 38 minutes. And he's been averaging that. The <laughs> look at him. And that game winner last night against Phoenix. Oh, my goodness. That in and out. Ah, so frustrating. Anyway, Kawhi Leonard is definitely an NBA superstar. If you look at what he can do on the floor, he's developed a jump shot. First of all, he's an extremely efficient scorer. Extremely efficient. You know, we talk about LeBron and Kevin Durant being efficient. Kawhi is an efficient scorer as well. He, he's developed a post game. You know, he can drive to the basket. He can take you off the dribble. He can face up. He can put his back to the basket. He can shoot the three. You know, he, he's extremely efficient. And it's it's uh, it's something amazing to watch. You know, and then on the defensive end, there's no comparison at all. This dude, his hands were huge. His hands are huge. You know, he's, he's an incredible player. San Antonio Spurs, great team. You know, they beat the Cleveland Cavaliers last night in overtime. Uh, I had the... You guys don't even know what I had to go through watching that game last night. You know, my college, for some reason, you know, I pay almost 30000 a freaking semester. But somehow, this college has no cable. When my other school, I paid like 20000 and we had cable. That's ridiculous. Anyway, so I'm trying to watch it on my... Uh, you, can't, you can't watch it on League Pass because it is a blackout restriction. So I'm, I'm going on ABC and then it redirected me to ESPN... And I tried to go to ESPN3 where it was in English, and that wouldn't work for me. I couldn't connect to it. So I had to watch the game in friggin' Spanish. Now, I know I'm part Spanish, you know, technically, even though I consider myself an American because I was born in America. I'm technically, my family is part Spanish. And I was getting so frustrated. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You know, I'm just playing around, but... I could not enjoy watching the game, so I just muted it, and I was just listening to, like, Speaker Knockers and A Boogie. If y'all are from New York, you know who A Boogie is. You don't even have to be from New York. This dude is pretty much global. Not global, but national now. A Boogie with the hoodie. Anyway, Kawhi Leonard, he proved me wrong, and I have to apologize because, you know, I don't have to apologize about someone else. You guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, you know, my favorite player is going to embarrass him tomorrow, but we'll leave it at that. Anyway. Kawhi Leonard proved me wrong this entire season. His efficiency, his scoring ability, his defensive ability. Now, I still kind of question him in the playoffs. However, I'm starting to feel more confident in him. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe he's going to sit there and dominate in the playoffs. Maybe he's going to do his thing in the playoffs. Who knows? Who, do, who am I to sit here and say he's not good enough to do what he needs to do in the playoffs? Who am I to say that? I'm not, you know, because he's proving me wrong. This entire time, he's proven me wrong, and he continues to prove me wrong, and he's probably going to continue to prove me wrong because there's nothing I can say that can, you know, try to refute him anymore. There's nothing. You know, I can look at other players from back in the day that had a few good seasons. Yeah, I've done that before, like your Danny Grangers, your Michael Reds. I've done that before. Your Kevin Martins. I've done that before. Your Rudy Gays. I've done that. But Kawhi, for some reason, is not just having a decent scoring season. He's scoring, he's passing, he's rebounding, he's playing defense. You know, he's leading the Spurs. It's crazy. And the Spurs have a good record. He's a great player. And he's really, I'm starting to rethink my top five players. You know, and it's hard because obviously we have LeBron. We have Kevin Durant. 
We have James Harden, we have Russell Westbrook, and we have Stephen Curry. Now, when you think about that, someone got to go. You know, like the Kevin Hart when um, his daughter kicked someone off the bed. Like, so somebody had to go. You know, someone has to go from that top five. Who is it going to be? I have no clue. I don't know. You know, there's, there's so many play, so many. All of them are good. You know, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I honestly. It, it would either have to be Russell Westbrook or Stephen Curry because Russell Westbrook's extremely inefficient and Stephen Curry, for some reason, he improved slightly on defense, but he still can't guard his own position, whereas Kawhi can do everything. So one of those two would have to drop. But anyway, now I want to segue into something else. I've been doing some thinking and some thinking I've been doing. This channel is going to change. You know, I'm still going to be talking about basketball, but I'm going to be including some in real life stuff, some reactions to some videos. I already have the videos scheduled and recorded, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Just don't be shocked. There's going to be days where it's only going to be one video a day. I'm going to be testing things out for these next few weeks. So it's better that I do it now that the channel's small than when I'm big. But I'm going to be testing some things out because I don't think strictly talking about basketball is the future of this channel. I'm still going to be talking about it. Just twice twice a day i don't know if that's the future of this channel you know what i mean anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video Kawhi leonard really surprised me anyway i'm out peace